Steve Kim with Max Boxing. I'm here with promoter extraordinaire Bob Arum, CEO of Top Rank Boxing. Bob, first of all, as we speak, Saturday afternoon, January 24th, every ticket is sold at the Staples Center for Antonio Margarito and Shane Mosley. Would you say this is perhaps one of the biggest nights, maybe in a long time, for Los Angeles boxing? Oh, it is the biggest night ever for Los Angeles boxing because because of boxing, uh, we were able tonight to set an attendance record for any event at Staples Center, the biggest crowd in the history of Staples Center, because, for example, when the uh, uh, Lakers play at a big championship game, the floor seats are uh, killed. Uh, here we have the floor seats, and uh, uh, we're, we're really excited. Uh, the response has been tremendous, and I'm sure the fight will live up to the response. Bob, give me the impact. When a fight like this sells so well, give me the impact it has when you guys go to other venues trying to pitch a fight. And that, that goes for all promoters. Well, I think it teaches a lesson to other promoters. And that is, if you have a good fight, don't abuse it. Keep your ticket prices reasonable. It's better to have a lower gross, in my opinion, but sell it out or come close to selling it out than to take in more money and have a half-empty arena. We'll go for volume, obviously, being the lesson. Bob, May 2nd, it looks like, I want you to confirm this, is Manny Pacquiao on board for the Ricky Hatton fight? Did he fax you over his signed contract? He sure did. We got the fax uh, uh, yesterday. Uh, you know, I'm confused in uh, with Philippine time, U.S. time, but we have it in hand. Uh, we've showed it to uh, the Hatton people. Uh, I, I've signed uh, the document with Richard Schaefer, the co-promotion agreement. Uh, Richard is finalizing the arrangements with Hatton. So I would say the fight's on for May 2nd. Uh, considering it is on, where will the venue be in Las Vegas? Well, that was or had been decided before this contretemps, uh, and that'll be at the uh, Grand Garden Arena at the MGM. Okay. Bob, February 7th, they have another arena fight that I think should be an explosive fight between Vic Darchini and Jorge Arce. Yeah, it'd be a great fight. Really a great fight. Uh, the undercard is great, DeMarco and Kid Diamond. Uh, it's just going to be bombs away. And again, even though it's a spectacular card and a spectacular fight, we've priced the tickets low, $35 to $250. Bob, I remember three, four years ago, there was a lot of talk about making this fight. And then both guys lost, which seemed to take some of the luster off. Why pull the trigger on this fight now? Well, because it's, they're both big names. They've, you know, they, they, we always knew at one time they would fight each other. Mm -hmm. And that'll, that's going to happen on February 7th. Uh, I mean, it's a fight that you couldn't, as a boxing promoter, if you had the opportunity, not do. Mm -hmm. After all of the talk and all of the rhetoric and the bad feeling. I mean... I'm confident in my guy. I think uh, Arce will win this fight. I know he's getting up in age, but he's a gutty guy, takes a great punch, and I look to him to win this fight. Bob, some business dealings I think you could speak about now. There was an issue with the bankruptcy of Victor Ortiz, who was one of your former fighters. Now, is he a top-ranked fighter again? What has been the official ruling regarding that lawsuit? The bankruptcy judge decided that because it was in bankruptcy, the contract that he had with us was rejected as a matter of law and therefore was terminated. We believe that the judge, bankruptcy judge, had misinterpreted the law. And we took an appeal to the United States District Court judge who agreed that even though the contract was rejected and there was could have been a claim in bankruptcy that we could have made against Ortiz, the contract continued in effect, and that if he fought for any other promoter, we can enjoin him from fighting. So at this point, our contract is reinstated. He is under contract to top rank, and we put HBO on notice that uh, his potential fight in March on that card cannot be put on 
uh, because we are the promoter of record of Victor Ortiz. Now, that being said, meetings were held yesterday with uh, Todd representing us and uh, Richard Schaefer and the two scumbags, uh, Finkel and Ariano, and uh, uh, hopefully a resolution can be reached. But let me tell you, I am not so much angry at Schaefer and Golden Boy, because mm -hmm. we'll work things out, as I am against Finkel and his partner. And they're going to pay, pay. So is it clear that Victor Ortiz is someone you could live without, but you will be attacking who you call the two scumbags? That is correct. I mean, we spent a lot of money pursuing this lawsuit for two reasons. One, because I wasn't going to get pushed around this mm -hmm. way. And secondly, because this was bad for the sport of boxing. If you put money in promoting a fighter and you live up to your contract and more mm -hmm. and make him a really top prospect, then if he could just go in and declare bankruptcy and get rid of you, I mean, who the hell would want to make the investment? Yes. And it was happening more and more. It happened with uh, Gary and Ishi Smith, mm -hmm. with King and Campbell. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it, enough is enough. And we've stopped that. Bob, another trend in the sport of boxing that seems to be a very positive one in 2009, outside of May 2nd, it doesn't look like there's going to be an overwhelming majority of pay-per-view fights. Talk about that trend this year and where do you think it's going? Well, it is true that HBO and Showtime are stepping up and putting on big fights and paying money to keep them away from, uh, from pay-per-view. But there'll be plenty of fights on pay-per-view. We're doing a double head of February 21st. I mean, fans want to see Cotto and Pavlik. And if the only way they can see him is on pay-per-view, they'll buy it. Bob, I know there is some criticism, and I, I read the banter. Why is this on pay-per-view? You do you want to make it clear the reason why it's on pay-per-view is because HBO or Showtime simply did not want those matchups? Correct. Okay. That's correct. You know, and, you know... HBO and Showtime don't want to go down to Mexico to televise an event with Julio Chavez Jr. And we're happy to go to Mexico and put on fights. And so we'll let those people who want to see those events and they're great events with other title fights on the card to pay a reasonable amount to see them on pay-per-view. It's as simple as that. Obviously, this fight is on HBO because they paid for it to be on HBO. It's much simpler mm -hmm. for a fight to be on HBO. I don't have to run to the phone every 10 minutes to see how Wichita, how many sales in Wichita. Honestly, I think Wichita is not your best market, Bob. When you look at the situation with network and boxing, I know you have tried, and so far it's been unsuccessful. Have you made any headway in that regard? We haven't made any headway in the Anglo market. We've made big headway in the Hispanic market. This arrangement between Top Rank, Beltran's company, Zanfa Promotions, uh, TV Azteca, and TV Azteca America is the wave of the future. We're going to take the model that we have here and apply it to network boxing in the United States. Bob, last question. We talk often about the state of the business and it can go either way. Yes or no, and expound on this. Are you more positive about the state of the business than you were, let's say, last year when we talked? Absolutely. Because, you know, it's one thing to moan that boxing is dying, that everything sucks. And when you analyze it, it's because some suit in New York, whether at HBO or Showtime, or particularly HBO, preferred somebody else's product over yours because they didn't like a statement that you might have made about an executive. And therefore, boxing is dying, woe is me. And then you realize, do something about it. Do something about it. You know, there are plenty of ways where you can bring boxing to the public, survive, and make money. And so that's what we're doing. All right. Bob, best of luck tonight. Best of luck in the future. Thank you.